Hello, welcome back to another Larlo video tutorial. If you are interested in the other DIYs I've created, I'm actually gonna leave a playlist link in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into this super unique coffin lamp that I think Dracula would be proud of. The items you'll need will be a wooden coffin, any color acrylic paint, I chose black and glow in the dark, some miniature books, a plastic bat, a hot glue gun, and a cheap table lamp. So the first step I'm doing is putting some painter's tape around the bat cutout just because I didn't want to mix the paint colors. And here I'm just taking a nice big flat brush and painting the outsides black. I'm also taking special care around the clasp and the hinges because whenever you paint over them, they get kind of sticky and you lose a lot of mobility. And I really want the coffin to still be able to open and close. For the insides, I went in with the painter's tape again to outline the inner portion, just to make sure when I'm painting the inside, I'm not getting any black paint on the bed portion. This was so relaxing to paint this because like you don't have to worry about making it artistic and making like a design. You're basically just coloring something and it was, it was really nice. So highly recommend. To get a nice saturation with the black color, I did go in with two coats of the acrylic paint. Honestly, I feel if I had used a priming paint, I think that I would have gotten a lot better color payoff and the colors would have been a lot more even, especially with the glow in the dark paint. I think I did five coats of that. So yeah, definitely see if you can find a priming paint. While painting the bed glow in the dark, I did put some more painter's tape over the back cutout so that none of the glow in the dark paint goes on the outside. Once the black paint had dried, I decided to jazz up the outside by putting a name on the coffin. Honestly, this decision was so difficult. First, I kind of thought maybe I should put Walter White Cell or maybe Bleeding Gums Murphy for a Simpsons reference, or even like Deacon Frost from Blade. I thought that would have been good, but ultimately I decided to do Vane Go because I thought that was great. I, it gave me a chuckle. So here I'm just taking a really small, precise paintbrush and carving out the letters. I definitely would recommend going in with a pencil first, just so you can make sure that everything's nicely spaced. I also drew a design that I wish I had not because it kind of looks like the Heinz logo, which is really unfortunate. Once all the paint has fully dried, I was arranging the coffin on the lamp base just to see where I should put it so that I can still open and close it and it's not obstructing me being able to turn it on and off. Once I found my right placement, I went in with a hot glue gun and I laid a nice thick layer of the glue just to make sure that the bottom is really fully secure. And I think I had some hair in it, so that's, that's cute, love that. I also placed a big glob of glue along the stick portion of the lamp to secure the back of the coffin. And then I opened up these miniature books and kind of arranged them around the lamp. This was so cute to me. It's like veins reading in this coffin. I don't know. So initially I planned to hot glue the bat to the lampshade, but honestly, I didn't want something so permanent that I couldn't use the lampshade for anything else. So I decided to grab some poster tack I had laying around and I would secure the bat that way. So I grabbed a pea-sized amount of the poster tack and I put one on each wing. And then I just smushed the bat against the lampshade. Oh, 
And here is the final look at how it turned out. All right guys, so that is it for our coffin lamp tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. As I said before, if you guys are interested in more tutorials, I will leave a playlist linked in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.